Hello everyone, today I'm going to install Windows 95 on the old Dart Flex GX150. And um, yeah, so what you will need is a floppy or boot disk, um, CD ROM, and you might need Hiram's boot CD to, you know, get rid of things. Okay, so I'm going to put the disk in and turn it on. Right now it's booting from a flop. From the uh, flop here, so starting Windows 95. And here we are. So it's loaded up the CD ROM drivers and now it's loaded up the boot disk. So I'm going to go on F disk to look at the partitions. Yes, this is just my disk drive is larger than 2 gigabytes. And so uh, it wants me to do that. So let's just let's get partitions. Extended DOS, what else? Okay, so DOS thinks that there is a logical drive, but there's no actual logical drives there. And what this means is that this is a NTFS, uh, NTFS partition. And so if, if I try to delete it, you'll see, if I go extend this, see why logical drives exist, they can't delete it. So if I go try and get rid of logical drives, it doesn't say anything. So what will I do, you might ask? Well. This is why I need Hiram's boot CD. So what what I will do is I'll grab Hiram's, I'll get in the CD ROM, put it in there. I'll take out the floppy so it doesn't boot from it, and now I'll press Control Delete. Hiram's boot CD is very useful, um, especially when doing things that normal Windows and DOS can't do. Alright, so here it is. Um, it's Boot CD version 15.2. So I'm going to go into DOS programs. Uh, go to partition tools. I'm going to go, I think it's Smart F disk. There we are. Alright, so here are the partition partitions here from Irons. I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to exit. Yes. Alright, so it's completed that. I'm not going to create a partition because uh, most people won't use Irons. I'll just use a normal boot disk. And so I'll take this out and put this in. Control delete. See, it's a GX150. Waiting for a floppy. And here we are. So I'm going to go on that disk. Yes. And no partitions are defined. So I'm going to create a new one. Primary DOS partition. And now it's verifying drive integrity. I assume that that's just looking at the drive. Alright, so now it's finished the uh, the uh, Verifying the drive integrity. And so, do I want maximum available size? Yes, I do. 
and now it wants to do it, to do it again, which is very silly. So, yeah. Alright, so it's finished that now, and now it wants me to restart. So that's exactly what I will do. I'm saying go Control Alt Delete. Burning off the floppy again. And I might want to get rid of. Oh. It's hard to see it's right there. Alright, so now it's restarted. So we should get the drive, and we do. So I'm going to do a directory listing, and there's an issue here. The reason why is, well, I don't really know why. But what I can do to um, fix this problem is to format it. Yes, of course I want to do it, so let's do it. Now, since this is around 40 gigabytes, it's going to take a very long time. So, yeah. Alright, so it's finished the format. And so now I'm going to grab the Windows 25. Windows 25 CD. Oh, well, it's actually a DVD, but you can put it on a CD. And so, do I want to enter a volume label? No, I don't. So you just press enter if you don't want anything. That is if my enter key works. Okay, so now I'm going to go to direct listing R, which is weird. It's not D, it's R. Uh, so now I'm going to do a direct li listing. And here we are. Now I'm going to type in setup. And I'll do scan this kind of stuff. And here we are. Welcome to Windows 25 setup. I'm going to click continue. And yes, license frame. Next. Alright, so, okay. Alright, so, uh, oh, yeah, be warning here. It replaces any version of MS DOS. So, if you already have a copy of MS DOS on here, it will overwrite that. Next, yep, yeah, that's the directory you need. If you want another directory, just hit that and you choose your directory. But for now, I'll just use that. Now, I'm preparing the directory. Um, for this video, I'll just go typical. Alright, so here's the product key. This is the same copy I've used in my original video. Alright, so I'll put my name in it. Alright, I've got both of these. So I'll check both of them. But um, Windows 25 by default won't see these hardware because this hardware is newer than 1995 and 1996. So I'm just going to pop out my driver CD. Here are my drivers, uh, the VO driver, general, general duplex drivers, and uh, some software. Alright, so it's almost done.
we are. And those components. Yeah, sort of most component. Uh, do I want a startup disk? Components. Um. No, I don't want a startup disk. If you want one, then you just click that. Next. And now it's installing. It's going very quickly because the hard drive is very fast, and the CD-ROM drive is very fast, and also the processor is very fast. It's one gigahertz, one gigahertz Pentium three. This video was. Uh, was requested by a fellow YouTuber who wanted me to create this video and so here I am. Also uh, another fellow YouTuber by the name of Sonic5741 he used to make videos on Windows 25 and he was a great guy but unfortunately due to YouTube's stupid copyright things He's disappeared from the internet. And that's sad because I enjoyed them. They were really, really good. He uh, disappeared from YouTube uh, um, about three years ago, I think. Maybe two or three years ago. He was a really, really great guy. Alright, so here we are reject any floppy so I'll take this out and now I'll continue this is Windows 95 version B Starting Windows 95, and here we are, getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. And here we are, setting up hardware. I believe this system is designed for Windows 95, although the sticker says it's designed for Windows 98. Um, NT4 and 2000. Although this system fully supports Windows 95. And you could install a printer if you really wanted to. But I've got no printers that support this system, so I'll click cancel. And here we are, Windows 95. Setting up hardware. And here we are, Windows 95. So this is just if you want a basic installation of Windows 95. But now, I'm going to install some drivers. So first of all, I'm going to install DirectX and DCOM for Windows 95. Just and get it out of the slip. Right, here we are. But the very first thing we need to do before we even install anything is go to my computer, go to Windows 95, and make sure you copy Win95 to C drive. Because most of the drivers require that directory, and so it will save you a lot of hassle and disk swapping if you if if you if you um put that directory in there, so we're just waiting it for it to do its thing, and just to prove to you, 
Windows 95. Version B. Alright, so it's fully copied. So now I'm going to reject the disk. Here it is. And now I'm going to put DirectX and DCOM on. Waiting for it. Alright, so DCOM. Go and install that first. And now I don't want to restart because I'm going to do this as well. Unzip. C drive, and I'm going to install DirectX, which is required, I believe, for the chipset drivers. Oh, and I forgot one more CD. Ah, the Sound Blaster Live. Alright, so it wants to restart. My uh, camera was running out of storage, so I had to put them in the in a folder like this. But uh, here's Windows 95. And here we are. Still wanting to install drivers, and no, I don't want this to start up every time. Alright, so what else should we do? Or should I do? I should install. Um, well, I've already got this set up, so what I should do now is install chipset drivers. And the networking drivers, which are on the CD. Um, the audio and everything else is on the CD, but I've already got better cards, such as the Soundbuster Live and the NVIDIA MX400 AGP. Right, so I'm going to go Windows 95, chipset, yes, unzip. Right. 800 series. Uh, open it. Yes. Okay. Then chipset. Yes. All right. There's 815 there. That's the chipset that happened to be in my motherboard. Uh, no, I don't want to restart because I'll be installing network as well you have to do the network by hand right, with device manager and stuff alright so I also want to get uh, where is it here it is the display drivers. All right, next, next. That's the drug trail one. I'm pretty sure this needs DCOM. Alright, apparently it doesn't, okay. Now it's doing the things, and no, I don't want to restart. 
Alright, so now the display drivers are in. I'm now going to do sound card. I've also got a Sound Blaster PCI 16 in here, but the Sound Blaster Live works better in my experience. This, the PCI 16 is alright, gives you your basic things, but for the things that I wanted to do, it's um, the SP Live does better. So now I'm going to click on 9x, Windows 9x. Uh, yes. Next. It's updating the drivers. Even though I don't have any sound sound drivers on here. And look at that. Sound Blaster 16 emulation. I believe that's emulating the ISA Sound Blaster 16. Alright, see? That's exactly why I told you to do that earlier. So we just go in here, Windows 95, and here it is. Or Win95, rather. Do I want to keep this file? No. Okay. And blue screen for some reason. Uh, okay. That was weird. Uh, Windows key M. Alright, now there's a fault. This is weird. Okay, I should probably restart. So it's had a error at this memory location. You know, I'm just gonna power it down and power it back on. Maybe that was a bit too much. Um, programs. Too many registries updated. Yeah, no. Alright, oh, look, the uh, display driver says activated, and the chipset as well, which is very nice. The, uh, the refresh rate isn't looking very good on the camera. It looks alright. Might want to change it to 60 frames per second. But what is it now? It's at 85 hertz. Right. I will want to restart. Using A10 BIOS. Starting Windows 95. It's detected the IDE controller, interestingly enough. Uh, interest, interestingly enough. Right, so now I'm going to go on my computer and try to install the Sound Blaster driver. Because it failed last time. Alright, so we have to agree to the last scrim again. Next. Yep. Hopefully it won't fail this time. Start, yep, of course. Hopefully, I'll get sound.
Oh, there we are. Okay, so I've got sound working. Although it doesn't appear to be in the system tray for whatever reason. So other devices, oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. So another thing we need to install is the Ethernet driver. Update driver. Now select driver from the list. Network, have disk. Now I've, I've just realized there's a better way to do this. Other locations. Dell, drivers, network. Oh uh, yes, that's the one I need. Finish. Uh, okay. So I have to reselect it for whatever reason. Uh. Alright. Trying to boot from the Cedar Room for that version. Alright, here we are. And it wants me to do networking. my keyboard's having trouble. Alright. Here we are. Uh, set this. It's a plug and play monitor. There we are, that looks a lot better on the camera. What else do we need to do? Well, it's got the Ethernet. Although there's a little interesting bug that Windows has done. And that is that it didn't install the uh, TCP IP protocol. And so I'll do that right now. And see it's installed now. Okay. Yeah, and wants me to restart yet yeah, again for whatever reason. If you don't install the TCP IP, it, um, Windows 95 wouldn't be able to connect to the internet. It's taking a bit longer to shut down. Is there any hard disk activity? No, there isn't, and the graphics has glitched up. Uh, the joys of installing Windows 95 on computers that are way newer than it. Ah, oh, there we are. That's why I've got a uh, Pentium 133 for Windows 95. Works a lot better than a Pentium 3. So if you're going to install Windows 95, I'd recommend you use a uh, computer from the mid-90s like a Pentium, Pentium, Pentium 1. Pentium 2 might work, but I would stay with Pentium, the Pentium 1. Alright, now working. And here we are. So it's installed. 
I'm still Windows 25, and I'm going to put in bubbles. There we are. Now let's try the internet. Get connected. Automatic, yeah, whatever. Oh, I should have chosen manual. Manual. Local area network. Try and go, go to Google at least. Here's the uh, URL that I've typed in. And there we are. So the internet works. That's great. Hopefully I won't get any viruses from the internet. But uh, there we are, just to prove it again, Windows 95. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully.